All right, hey, what's up, everyone? It is Saturday. We're doing a bonus extra stream, if you will, because I normally wouldn't start until seven, but we're we are people, a team on a mission today. And let me just kind of show you what we're going to be doing. <clears throat> so if I uh, access my PDA here, we have team missions. And we're going to do this Defeat Alien POI. Now, for those that have been following along, we tried this already. Um, we ran into a Xerax cruiser in space, and it did a number on my capital vessel. But we were victorious. We took it out. But we had two of these done. I had to go put my capital vessel in for repair. And everyone kind of dropped out, and the team became one person. And I went ahead and did one more of these. But unfortunately, you have to do this quest in a single session. If you log out of the game, you lose all your progress. So we all got reset. <laughs> We're going to try it again. We don't really need the reward, which is a uh, four sniper rifles, epic sniper rifles. But we figured it'd be fun to do, so we're going to uh, go ahead and get this ready to roll. <clears throat> so you guys all need to do F1, go into the team missions, and accept that alien POI one and say, let's go, or activate. And uh, that way everyone is on the same uh, point with defeat alien POIs to start it up. Gotcha. So yeah, don't forget that. Oh, Damien's in the house. Hey, hey. Found what I believe is a Xenu base, although it's not labeled as such on Arzamat, by the way. So we've got Rados, we've got Xenu. I suspect there will be more Ghost Rider on whatever that planet was that we found the first one. Um, what was that one? The alien one. I just don't remember what the name of it was. Oh, a Rengu? Yeah. There's getting to be too many planets. To see stuff from the same faction on the same planets. Or the same sub faction, I guess. Yeah, that was my theory, was that they were on different planets. Yeah, so I don't know if that's just the named stuff, though, or if that's everything. Because, like, the one. <laughs> the one has the, it's the right type of POI and it has the right logo, but it's not actually labeled to Xenu. Hmm, okay. So that actually, that might be a good one. I've had a good start, Kung, what can I say? Because I don't even know if it's going to count. If that works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. There's some very cool people that visit no, my no, stream. No, 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 no. Work, I think the, the Ghost Rider one that we did yesterday wasn't actually labeled Ghost Rider. It just had the icon. Yeah, it just had the icon there. Yeah, so that's <clears> cool. Another final reminder, check your armor and repair if necessary. Yes, that would be a good idea. And what you mean this? I found a POI. What is it? Oh, my CV is ready, by the way. I'm going to spawn it later because I don't want to be worrying about getting it set up to go. Okay, supply station. That's another Z new one. So we'll just use the planet side one for that. Yeah, we'll keep that same boost in there. Yeah, so we're getting ready and making preparations. Gonna be rolling on through here. And uh, yeah, we'll worry about grabbing some of that a little later. It's your fault for making cool communities. <laughs> I seem to have a knack for that, right? Or at least, you know, imagine craft. What? Ho oh, ho. Oh. Um, worked out really well in that regard, so. Transitioning, I need to make an Imagine Gaming shirt. That needs to be the next thing that I do. All right, Imp, you're going to be lurking. You're making some lasagna. Good to know. Lurk mode has been activated. You can enhance TeamSpeak with Python script. Whoa, Damien! you all about that Python right now. There you go. <laughs> what's the magic craft? What's, what's that? You know, it used to be like this really cool, awesome Minecraft server. You know, at least maybe I dreamed it. I don't know. I had that dream for like three years straight. 
<laughs> oh, good times, good times. All right, let's see. I um, need to figure out where we're going to go first, so Bloops is scouting out right now. And uh, let me, uh, what was the Ghost Rider was on a Rengu. I'm just going to start making some notes here. We got to get these four bases and uh, try to get this organized. What we didn't do last time was scout. So we're actually trying to scout first and then speed run the four bases. <clears throat> Minecraft. It's like Empyrean, but without space or vehicles. It's weird. I mean, Minecraft, you could have, like, the little slime piston machine take you around. You guys remember that? The, the flying piston machines with slime blocks? I still remember Swords for Life firing one of those suckers up and going places. Little ingenious 11-year-old man. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So we have um, Epsilon... We got Zanu. Right, we already wrote the note about Ghost Rider on Rengu. And we've got uh, the Rado space somewhere as well. I think that's on Bloops' home planet uh, that he's got going on right now. A boring version of Empyrean. <laughs> or a boat with a chauffeur. Is that chauffeur? Is that how that's actually spelled? That looks really weird looking. Yo, you got an Uber. Yeah, yeah. Off stream, man. I had to go pick up Damien. Let me tell you guys. That was a journey. Look at this. Look at this. So, go to my map. Look up here at the, the sector. So, I'm on Brimahan. This is where we dropped off, right? So, um, Damien's on Brimahan somewhere. But, all the way up here, past the Rangu, and then... We had to keep going up. I had to fly all around here. Peaches keeps adding in planets, and it's getting really difficult to keep up with where stuff is. Or, you know, I'm not complaining about the additional. Really? Instead of Friday, we got Cryday? <laughs> I got talked to him about some of these names. But anyway, ended up through, like, all this stuff here, man. Look at this. This is just nuts. And um, that ended up all being wrong. So I had to, you know, keep going up some more. And, and... Uh, he knew that one of the neighboring planets here was Anomi, and boom, he was on this planet named Wedemus. Now, for the future of my stream, I'm not calling this Wedemus. I'm going to pronounce it like I'm German, so it's Vetemus. Vetemus. So we, that sounds much cooler to me, Vetemus, than Wedemus. Wedemus is like this planet like wet itself. So, yeah. So anyway... We are going to have to find um, some of these alien installations. But we picked up, I picked up Damien way up here on this planet. And then had to go all the way, like so many warps, to get us back uh, here. We u moose. We u moose. I don't know. We u moose. <laughs> yeah, when in doubt, you blame peaches on here. That's That's what happens. <laughs> Oh, man. Good times. Kung, are you going to get this game? You need to get this game, Kung. You need to happen. Oh, and did you see that the Jackbox game is free? Did you see that? I posted it in our Discord. I don't know if you had Jackbox Party or not, but uh, I think you were talking about it at one point in time. Or wanted to stream it. Or you maybe already do stream it. I don't know. But anyway, uh, I think the first one... Anyway, there's, there's, a, there's a free part of it. So I got it. <clears throat> All right. Um, so, Bloops, you said Ghost Rider was a Rengu, and then what, where were the other ones at that we have figured out so far? Uh, put it in your stream channel, link it again. Or not link it, but put, uh, paste it. Oh, you put it in there? Uh, let's see here. Oh, there it is. I'm sorry. I missed it. Sometimes I've been missing some chats here, apparently. I need to step up my game. If I miss a chat, let me know. I, I will also say... Um, Ghost Rider and Epsilon, I know where they are, like what planet, but I don't have the specific POS scouted yet. Rados is on Mookins. Okay, Mookens. I found another Epsilon one, so we should be good on that. I'm going to fly out of the drone range and bookmark it. 
Okay, Epsilon is Navenda. And Zenu is Arzamat. I really like that name, Arzamat. Alright, so we have found the different planets. So at least we have an idea of where we're going to go. And we'll just kind of tuck that little uh, note here off to the side of my screen so I can keep up with uh, the road map. And let's see what's going to be the most efficient route to take. This is why I get to be the Uber of interstellar flight. It's because I sit here and try to plan my stuff out. They love me. I need a dispatcher, Damien! I need a dispatcher to route me where I need to go. Alright, so... <laughs> let's take a look here. Uh, Navenda is going to be here. And Arzamat. So, by the way, if we start with Navinda, we can do Navinda Arzamat. Uh, Navinda Arzamat, wait, yep. No, never mind. Yeah. Navinda Arzamat, then Arangu. Arangu. Perfect route. Yeah, Navinda Arzamat, Mukind, and Arangu. All four stops, all right next to each other. Look, look at that. Great job, Bloops. You make a great dispatcher. Yeah, dude, that's actually why I was looking at Navinda, because I've seen Epsilon and Rados elsewhere. But... It's not this close. All right, who needs a ride from Brimahan? I'm here. My capital vessel is right outside the base. I did add two passenger chairs in the hangar area, and I've been um, sitting in one for about five minutes. Oh well, look at you, Mr. Overachiever. I didn't know you were already ready to go. That's like being an Uber car's driver before he's even in the car. <laughs> I think that's called stalking, and I have no charges pending or terrified. <laughs> ready to do a carjacking. Got like a pistol in the back seat. I know you're armed and ready because we're ready to go do some installations. <laughs> All right. All right, I got two people right now. Bloops, you're flying around exploring, so yeah, I think we got everyone. You guys have your ships on my ship? I do not. I am going foot soldier all the way because my ship is destroyed. Okay, that's all right. I docked my SV, I guess. Cool, cool. I'm going to do a quick foot stop on the tunes to get some food, get everything armored up, and then I should be ready to go. I am glad that I did make it today. Oh, yeah. All right, and we're off. All right, let's see here. Kong says he might jump on the game soon to get some practice in. Not going to be on at a time to voice chat with multiplayer in your game, though I might be mute if I do. You're more than welcome to join the server, Kong. You already have the information. So don't think you have to do it single player. You could do multiplayer. Ghost Rider requesting a flyby. Damien in there. That's a negative Ghost Rider. Bloops. All right, let's just uh, get our position locked here. We're gonna go right up here to Navenda. Oh, I can't warp to Navenda yet. I gotta go to Inda and uh, go up this way. So here we go. Someone would definitely get that reference. That's a negative Ghost Rider. Maybe I could hop on sometime and you'll come across a planet one day with a giant base. You know, you could build a castle here, Kung. You are the master builder of everything castles. So you could definitely do that. You can join Empyrean and make a castle in space. How dope is that? Medieval meets sci-fi futuristic awesomeness. All right, let's uh, let's just jump. Uh, yeah, I can't go directly there. We gotta go around. Actually, you know what? <clears throat> if you want to go to Arzamat first, I can meet you guys there after I pick up some food. Okay. That waypoint, we can just clear that while we're there, because that's kind of midway between us. Medieval sci-fi castle. See, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, Ruthless! Ruthless, you made it, man. Welcome back to the stream. 
Oh, and you know what, Ruthless? You were one of the ones that was asking about playing here. Um, if you do exclamation mark, join us, you can get information on how you can uh, go about getting on the server. Damien, I want to turn one of those planets into a star killer base. <laughs> oh, did that not work? Where's my bot at? Is my bot even in here? Oh yeah, he's in here. Hold up here. What's going on with my bot? Did I get my command wrong? Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Join us would actually be really nice. It's join server, exclamation mark, join server. <laughs> I should make it join us. That would be much, much shorter and cooler. But I'll fix that later. So yeah. Exclamation mark, join server. And that'll post the info. There we go. Yeah, it's all one word. Ruthless, you got it. There we go. Alright, um... Oh, there's already a Xerox thing there. Let's not crash into the planet. This is what happens when you have distracted drivers. Um, so we're gonna have to find things. Actually, let's just put on the brakes here. Oh, goodness, what are we firing at already? <clears throat> well, we're in Xerox territory, so let's just go east a little bit. The waypoint with, uh, with you when I get back there, because I have one already bookmarked. Oh, nice, sweet. So I'll just stand by. <laughs> you guys are funny. Damien, it's all good. You were you were helping out with my commands. This is what happens when you uh you know just willy nilly make up a command in the middle of the night. Like, hey, let's just throw this in here. Why are we waiting? You guys are free to get out of your chairs, access refrigerator, uh, you know, if you need a snack, get some weapons, make some ammo for yourself. We're in uh, standby mode at the moment, so boops gets here. There is a player ammo box, feel free. I have a weapons box. Um, I think I got pretty much most everything. Uh, I am lacking on medications, though. Shotgun upgrade, rifle upgrade, pistol upgrade. You know, I think I might try the uh, pulse rifle. Might jump off team speaker, mute myself to listen to stream without echo. I understand. <clears throat> Oh, you did a shout out for me in your Discord Promote Yourself channel. You know, I know I could have went in there and did that and I completely <laughs> slipped my mind. I need to start having like a streaming checklist. Like step one, do this. Step two, do this. And I need to get Twitter going and there's a whole lot of things I need to do and make a checklist so that way I can just uh, do what I can. All right, we're we making this pulse rifle. Oh, must already, uh, cool. And then I wanted to make the uh, tier two one. I do have a rifle upgrade kit. They're complaining because it's not in the box. Let's move it to this one. All right, and we'll put that in there too. They're both in the same container. And uh, yeah, I really, I didn't really give the pulse rifle a good try. Um, when I first started, I went right to the assault rifle, and now I have a, an epic assault rifle. But they both use the same ammo. They both like projectile rifle rounds. But uh, that little stress test yesterday, I kind of started out with the pulse rifle, and it was pretty cool. But I'm going to try and test things out here and see how things go um, if I want to use a pulse rifle. And I wonder, does it even have... Um... Oh yeah, it does have... Uh, scope. Okay. So, Exum, I'm going to come to you because the POI that you're closest to may actually be one of the ones we're looking for. Okay. You want a waypoint to where? Actually, no, you can see mine in the map anyway. Yeah. Uh, the one that I have 
is like that's right on the exact opposite pilots have checklists Sick, did you make yourself a rocket launcher with like homing missiles? If you're gonna be a foot soldier, you might as well turn yourself into like Rambo. Alright, I can start heading there, I'll meet you. Alright, get strapped in. We're about to move. All right, Momo. Heck yes. I'm almost close enough to see if it's got the right logos. Everyone's got their uh, quest started, right? All right, Momo's in. I would imagine Sick is probably in. Look, this looks promising. I do see the proper logo. This is also a good place to start because this is a starter planet, so it's a level 1 POI. Should be nice and easy to take down. Oh, goody. I have to turn my weapons on, right? Yeah. Oh, all my doors are. Yeah, there's really through team speak, so I turned it back on. Yeah, did you, um, are you sitting down? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. Yeah, Momo's taking the, Momo's taking the voice chat. Let me go the right way. <laughs> I need Google Maps! I don't think there are any turrets on the outside. Yeah, drones and turrets are clear. We're just going to set this big freaking ship right next to this teeny tiny base. Boom. Oh, look, we got foot soldiers everywhere. All right, we are, we are on the ground. There are foot soldiers outside, so be careful. Bloops, there's this one dude, like, chilling in front of my ship, in front of my spotlight. He's not getting hit, though. Yeah, we're ready. Let's go. You're missing a ramp on this side. Did it, it get shot off? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you are You're missing a ramp. Oh, that was a dang freaking plant. I thought it looked like a dude from my uh, cockpit. <laughs> Alright, this is what you do if you're worried your capital vessel can't clear everything around it. You get in your boom boom hover vessel, and you roll this guy out here. Or you try to, get him through the door. This might be the one I'm missing the ramp on. That's funny. Oh, do we have friendly fire? Yeah, watch out. Not on this planet. Oh, cool. Uh, we will on Makund, though. Makund is a PvP planet. Alright, I got Boom Boom out. I'm gonna roll around, make sure everything's dead. And then we'll go in the... We'll raid the base here.
<laughs> I'm making my own front door. Perfect. You like magic front doors? Oh, uh, yeah, that did it. I think we're gonna be pretty good. Oh, that's what I forgot. I don't have explosives. Alright, so yeah, what was it we had to take out the core without using uh, explosions? Yeah. Uh, you have to basically shoot it out. Um, I am. Yeah, I think you have to shoot it out. I don't think you're allowed to use explosives. I could be wrong. So, once we get inside, be careful with placing that on walls. This isn't the only POI on this planet we can raid, but at least prefer for the sake of speed running. If we only had to do this once. Yep. I'm going in through the top because I'm having bad luck breaking through that wall. Alright, I'm on foot. I got Boom Boom parked on the other side of the CV, opposite the uh, bay side. Oh, um, whoever's on the other side of that room for me, there's a spawner in there. So, excellent. Do you have explosives on your uh, CV? Yep. Probably in the ammo box. All right. Rolling on in. Sweet. Hello, Xerax Spaceport. Man down. Oh, we got robots. Elevator bike! There's like three dudes in that elevator shaft. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the murder! Oh, that was where I was trying to break through before. Guess we can go down now? Yep. Cool. Alright, everyone in here to check out the core? Done. Yeah. Cool.
while you guys are looting. Oh, I already made exit to the ship. <laughs> it's the, to the yeah, north of the court. Are looting, I'm gonna find my SV and park it on your CV exit. Okay. Oh yeah, well, that was pretty quick. And I'm missing a ramp somewhere. I have to figure that out. Get boom boom back on the ship. It's always good to have an artillery hover vessel, man. Can't complain. Huh, wonder why it's not popping up with the name. Who am I looking at? Ah, sick. I'm dropping off stuff. Stuff I don't want, I'm just throwing it in a random box that has random crap in it. All right, Bloops is AFK for a moment. All right, so we got our this is a new base done. Check, check. That's off the list. We got three more bases to go to and wreck to get our team quest done here, which is here, team mission, defeat alien POIs, and we cannot use explosives to take out the cores. Oh, looks like uh, I'm almost all ready to go here. <laughs> Sick, are you seated by any chance? Give me two seconds, please. Oh, yeah. You can sit down and you can use your F4 to sort your stuff. I didn't know if you do that or not. I know. I just don't know what your boxes are called. <laughs> But I'm sitting down now, you're good to eat. Alright, I'm gonna take us over to the uh Bloops, are you ready to go? Yep. He might still be Oh, you're back, cool. So next is Mavinda. Uh if you remember how to get to my base, the uh one I have bookmarked is Actually, a light is not right next to it. Uh, I said anything. I was thinking of a different cluster. But yeah, the Vendas next uh, next destination. All right, here we go. Next up, the Venda.
Ruthless, you know what we're serving on this stream. We got some meat burgers. <laughs> oh, good times. Bloops, I did not remember where I'm landing on the Venda. Near the equator, was that, or was that the other planet? Uh, it's still near the equator, but uh, no, honestly, I was thinking of a different POI cluster, so it's not actually near my base. I'll just hop down and wait for the waypoint, and then yeah. if I need to, I'll just go into space again. Yeah. Yeah, man, use that XM hype sword right there. <laughs> no cows were harmed. That's right. These are our organically grown crops. And you can make meat burgers out of plant protein. But the veggie burgers are made out of plant protein too, so go figure. Alright, coming into this one. Oh, we're already rolling right in the Xerax territory. Love it. All right, we'll get ourselves oriented here. And, right, hey, there's something down there. There's something down there to the left of me. Oh, yeah, I should look if there's anything closer. But uh, the one that I just shared is the one that I know for sure is the good one. But uh, why can I not see us on the map anywhere? I'm so confused right now. We might be on the opposite side of the planet. Probably. Uh, hang on. Uh, center. Center the map on us on your stream real quick. Like I cannot find us. It's ready for you. <laughs> Cows are vegetarian, so it's all good. Oh, <laughs> so uh, oh cug. Yeah. So advanced plan. fortress is the one that I labeled. However. We could try um, the ones that are in that cluster right next to us because they are the same types of POIs that I know are typically Epsilon. You guys are pretty funny. So So how do you know it's an Epsilon one? Uh, so what I've, sometimes they will actually have it in the name. Uh, so like when we go hunting for the Rados ones, uh, you'll notice that we're attacking a Rados missile silo. Or other times mm -hmm. you'll see like defense batteries that are called Epsilon Defense. Um, other times, uh, you can tell by the color scheme. If it's not labeled, you can tell by the color scheme and the icons that are on it. Uh, if you go into the texture tool and uh, you look at the symbols and it's the page that has like the weird alien faces on it. Yeah. Some of the symbols on that page correspond to like sub factions of Xerax. Oh, sweet. So, like the flaming skull thing is Ghost Rider, the little alien face looking thing is Xenu. Let me know when you're parked, by the way, so I can grab my SV. Yeah, let me move a little bit further away. All right, should be good. Cool. I'm gonna switch to boom boom and knock out all the turrets on the outside. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm in my SP, so I can. side of the ship.
Boom, boom, it's so much fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, stupid rock. Oh, no. I'm actually out of rocket ammo. I didn't bring enough. I got a little fuel off of your uh, CD. I have some in my ship. There's an SV box for ammo. Uh, if I can find you, which side should park on it. Oh, you're over here. All right, looks like turrets are down. Yep, cool. Your uh, SV ammo box does not have the ammo that I use. What are you using? He's in uh, 15 mil for the cannons and whatever the generic rockets are. Your SV box has plasma and laser charges only. Oh, weird. I can check some of the other boxes and see if it ended up in the wrong place. But, uh... All right, going in. Yeah, that's weird. I'm going to have to make some at some point. It's interesting. He died and then he waved. Oh, um... The CV has drilling lasers on the front, but Boom Boom does not. Oh yeah, look at this. I'm finding that loot. Spiner up the elevator, I went up top. Cool, cool. The cool thing about these armored double doors, what I've noticed, is if you just shoot a couple rounds at them, you can peek through the gap that it creates and see if there's a spawner on the other side. Oh, that's just another door. Hello! You murdering someone, Momo? No. Well. I hear someone getting murdered. Or dinos. Sounds like dinosaurs. It's the crawlers. Oh, those guys, yeah. Sometimes glitch out and not move. Ooh, found the corpse, nice. Wow, dang, I'm like derping around on the outside. Sick, you see that lever that you just switched? Check this out. Yeah. Uh, put this in your memory for later. Uh. So once that's destroyed, does that mean um, nothing? Everything spawn? can be. Uh, I believe so. Nothing spawns, but if there's any dudes that are spawned, they're still here. Yeah. It also means we can loot now. I mean, we could already loot, but like we can pick up stuff now.
Yeah, try and find those um, loot containers. They were back here. <laughs> One up top, too. Mm -hmm. That's great. Hey, we're going to get an epic sniper just for completing this series of quests. But yes, we were, uh, <laughs> we're getting all the things. All the things. Boom Boom got a little, uh, beaten up a little bit. I can see a little bit of cracks in the glass. Go ahead and put him on the repair bay real quick. Oh god. And I'm gonna craft up some missile ammo for my SV. Because there's nothing quite like taking out two turrets and running out of missiles. <laughs> Lost my parking spot. You said you needed a regular rocket launcher missile? Uh, 130 millimeter, but I'm already crafting some. Okay. I just found some, so I just threw it in a chest. Get this, get this dude ready to go. To the next place, right on the edge. All right, boom boom's repaired, so I'm ready to roll. Just give me one second. Sure thing. Also, you guys are taking your SVs at these turrets. Um, there is the repair bay in the hangar, so if you need it, just um, just holla. Things are already set to uh, automatically repair blocks. Uh, Epic Burger, man. We are that's our quest in the galaxy. Ruthless is looking for the best tasting meat burger. I'm totally crafting like 18 more <laughs> passenger seats and just hiding them around your ship. Uh, are you serious? You want to hide one no. <laughs> in the crew lounge flight deck? Oh, well, that's what I was that thinking. Would actually, no, that oh yeah, that. that's actually a good place to have them. If yeah, you put two up there. Something parked on the roof. Mm -hmm. Because then you can just immediately get out and get it. But yeah, Ruthless, these are the drills I added the other day when I came across an asteroid I could mine. I just threw these um, lasers on the front. It's not a part of the original design.
you know you can spread your job into all eight constructors and get all your crap faster, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, that would be a good idea. I just usually like do the search box and copy my text and then just paste it in there and just grab exactly that. You thought they were badass guns? They look like they're badass guns. Let's take a look at Boom Boom and his ammo and see if he needs a little refill. Because uh, all this hover vessel ammo is essentially for Boom Boom Love. Ammo box, HV. Oh man, this got hit pretty hard. I don't even have any uh, <laughs> HV stuff in here. Let's see, uh, so we've got some missiles. Got a lot of 15 millimeter bullets and plasma charges though, holy cow. Uh, but 155 millimeter homing missiles and 130 millimeter homing missiles. I don't even know, I gotta double check what kind he actually uses. Let's see, uh... I would have to check his pea screen. Do you miss any of the early game survival? Um, maybe a little bit. I was playing a little early game survival when we were stress testing a friend's server. So I got to be, you know, a total noob again, running around with my little defense tool and, you know, fighting dinosaurs to get some meat so I can live. Um, but right now, you know, we're trying to, you know, rock and roll some of these bases, so, you know, it's good that there's still, like, this mid, mid to late game where you're still pretty excited. There's a lot of exploration to still do, especially with Peaches adding planets, and apparently Peaches is scripting in some, um, custom events for us. Uh, he won't really give me very many details, but he's just like, just wait, and, uh, he's like, I'm gonna give you some stuff that you can stream. <laughs> <laughs> Which I thought was pretty funny. Alright, so let's just take a look here. What kind of rockets do I actually need? Um, the 130 millimeter. So I think that 150 size is for the small vessels. So 130 millimeter homing missiles. We'll just tap into one of these constructors here. 130 mm. And we're looking for hover vessel ammo. That's gonna make six a pop, so yeah, I'm low on magnesium powder. There's no way I'm low on magnesium powder. You don't want to rush through the fun. I don't think I rushed through the fun. Uh, it takes a while to level up and build all your resources together and get, you know, go through the hover vessel stage and the small vessel stage to uh, get yourself to where you can actually, you know, roll around on a capital vessel. So all that takes a while, because you gotta get level 25 before you unlock all your stuff. So you, you're kind of limited by your levels and your experience and what you're going for. Need to find a place to sit. Yeah, we'll do that off for now. All right, I'm headed to the captain's chair, turning on my engines. All right, report in. What's the status? Not seated. Seated. <laughs> it's like roll call. Bueller. Bueller. <laughs> almost. Almost. So then our next destination will be Mukint. It's going to be two warps away. You guys have all you need opened up a whole other type of gameplay. Yeah, man. I'm excited. <clears throat> this is your Captain Exum speaking. Please make sure that the table in front of you is in the upright position. Please have all laptops secured. Our destination is two warps away. And please remain seated while the seatbelt sign is illuminated. <laughs> I'm, <on capital. laughs> I'm almost ready. 
this flight is too short to offer snacks, so you're screwed. Sorry, hope you brought your own. <laughs> I paid good money for this first class ticket. I don't <sighs> if I was a betting man, I would I would bet that Sick already has his beverage of choice right now. All right, ready. You now have a crew seat in your lap, so that you have easier access to your uh, top flight deck. Nice. Most of that time was looking for a place where it wouldn't be too out of place. I just think it's really cool that you can involve your friends on stuff like this. Like, hey, everyone get your ships, come to my ship, and let's go roam the galaxy together and wreck base. Like, that's, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, totally nerding out over that right now. All right, so let's go ahead and go over here to Arzamat. Arzamat, because we're space pirates around here. Arzamat. And uh, we need to not use my thrusters. There we go. Arzamat. Hey, Baba Lucan. Glad you're stopping by. How are things? We might even have uh, Baba Lucan playing around here. It's going to be awesome. Does this server follow the rules for building a ship? For example, can only play so many guns? Yes, this is a survival server. So it follows the survival rules of maximum uh, allowable turrets uh, and such on your vessels. Hard vessels, small vessels, capital vessels, bases. Um, they all subscribe to that same rule set. All right, that was warp number one. We've got one more to go to get the Mookin. Warp engaged. Hopefully everyone's having a good Saturday. Oh, it's all right, Baba. I, dude, kids are unpredictable. You never know what the heck's going to happen with that. All right, we are going straight in the Mookins. Bloops, do you have any advice on where to land, or are we just landing anywhere? Uh, oh, land at my base, which is just to the north of us right now. Like, tippy-top of the planet. Does it have an atmosphere? Oh, look, those clouds are still there. Remember yesterday where I tried to tell you where to go and the clouds were in the way so you yeah. could see the bridge I was referring to? Exactly the same spot. Okay. Um, it's actually a bit north, but I think it's north. Uh, but same idea. Just go ahead and land at my base. Mookin is breathable. Yes. Thank but you. Bye. This one's PvP, so watch your fire. Oh god! So I better put away the uh, grenade launcher. Yeah, I would say 